Hey guys, how are you doing? Jeff Orig with Orig Media and Orig Entertainment. And today I wanted to share with you my different gear packages. So in this first segment, we're going to talk about what I'll bring or what we'll bring to a wedding. And let's just kind of dive right into it. So we've switched. We used to use a much larger box and we've been experimenting lately with this smaller box. This particular box uh, is made by Plano and it's a 1819. Uh, part of the reason why I like this box is one, it's super inexpensive. You can get it for like 50 bucks. And then it comes with wheels, but we added our own DIY uh, rollerblade wheels on there. Because the wheels that, that it comes with are pretty, are pretty bad. And uh, it was just easy enough to take a two by four and stick the wheels on there and then just kind of screw that into the box. So another thing that's awesome about this box is you can take this on a plane and it, it is a normal sized uh, piece of luggage. So it's, it doesn't get charged like an oversized piece of luggage. And as you'll see later, we'll be able to fit like a ton of stuff in there, whether it's uh, tripods or and or light stands and the camera bags and the sound equipment and, and what have you. So that's the, the, the box or the case that we use. And then at a wedding, I'll bring typically, um, depending on who I'm shooting with, uh, I'll usually bring two or three cameras and currently uh, our camera mix is the Canon 5D Mark III, the Sony A6000, and recently just got the uh, Sony RX100, which is a professional point and shoot. Um, but we're, we're using the 5D Mark III and the A6000 right now to shoot this video. So just the only one that I can show you is the RX100, which right now just sort of lives in this old lens pouch that I have. Um, and then attached to that is one of these battery wallets that I love. So this is a battery wallet from Tamarack. And in it, because the batteries are so small, I keep the charger in there. And then these are fresh batteries. If they get used, you just flip over this red tab and then we know it's used. But in this case, it's still fresh. If you haven't seen the RX100 Mark IV, I highly recommend checking it out. It's awesome. With the RX100, I use the Gorillapod. Uh, this is the, the DSLR 3, I think it's called, Gorillapod 3. And then this was a cheapo tripod head that I got with, it's from a slick tripod, just kind of really cheapo, but uh, it works for the RX100. But what I ended up having to do was um, sand away and file away some of this material here so that the focus ring could work. Um, this is a great little combo. And then these are extra batteries, extra batteries for the uh, 5D Mark III. Our batteries are getting kind of older so I'm bringing like six extra batteries these days, just in case for like a full eight hour wedding. And then for the A6000, this is a extra battery case for there. So we'll bring those. And then I just have this, I always just have this with me. This is our clipboard with a pen taped to it. And then this white folder. And I think I might've talked about this in another video, but um, in it, we have release forms for minors, adults, and then just like another uh, manila folder for whatever other kind of paperwork, like interview questions and that kind of stuff. So I, uh, even to weddings, this is with us, even though we're not going to have people sign releases, I just have it just in case for whatever reason and that it's just always in the kit. So I just pop it right in there. Um, but let me show you what's in the bag. This is the Canon 5D Mark III bag. Um, I'm a fan of Tamarack. 
They, I think they're a very good value. Um, this particular bag is a messenger bag, 5534. And it has like a front pocket here. So in this front pocket, I'll keep a, like a viewfinder. And for me, I personally just get a very inexpensive uh, Amazon version. This thing's like 20 bucks or less. It says viewfinder. Um, and they work. Like I don't need glasses, so I don't need to adjust the diopter at all. And then um, the original ring that, or lanyard that came with it uh, was string and it kind of got cut because this is metal. So I just replaced it with a key ring and then one of like some lanyard that I had laying around. Or maybe it's the same lanyard and then um, the string was attached here before. So I just use this portion. So I love these things. Uh, even for the Sony cameras or um, other cameras, it's kind of nice to have and I've just grown so used to wearing it that um, it's nice to have like in daylight or uh, if you just kind of want to punch in and look, check focus without having to actually punch in on the camera. Because even if you, you know, punch in on the camera, you're going to do a little camera shake. Um, I have the Rode VideoMic Pro in here. And uh, I recently, uh, this cable had become frayed. And I sent it into Rode and they totally replaced it and like just made the mic pretty much brand new again. Uh, and it was completely free. It was covered under their 10 year warranty. So uh, big shout out to Rode. Thank you very much for that. And then also <laughs> I have this little uh, squeeze ducky. Uh, it's meant for to be like a dog toy, but uh, I find just for very little kids, this is just like one of those little secret things that I can kind of pull out to get their attention so that they can look at camera. So I'll just always have that in there. And then this guy, <laughs> the way I make it fit is just I kind of put this in there. And that closes. And then uh, you'll notice a piece of gaff tape. I try to put like a piece of gaff tape um, on every piece of equipment that we have because uh, this is still good and I can just kind of tear off a piece if I need it for whatever reason, if I need to like st uh, stick a mic on the subject or what have you. And then in this front facing pocket here, um, I'll have cards. So in this case, SD for the A6000 and then CF for the Mark III. And then I like cases where I can flip the cards around. And then when you open it up, our system here at Org Media is that this is a fresh card and when it's flipped over, it's used. So same thing in here. And then in fact, I'm just gonna switch that back so we don't get confused. This card case is made by SanDisk, just so you guys know. Um, this is the lens pen, DSLR Pro Kit. I actually really love lens pens, and this kit is really nice because this is a microfiber cloth, as well as you have three different types of pens. The regular pen, this one's a micro pen, and then this one's for filters, which is really cool. So I end up just wiping the lens or using some of these pens. Um, this is just like a mini audio kit that I just carry around with me. And this is just a pencil case. And in this kit, I have, I had been experimenting with different recorders kind of earlier in my career, trying to find a less expensive version to a Zoom. And I bought one of these Olympus uh, recorders and it this it's just kind of one of those things for like you know if you're recording like a class or a lecture so this particular one has a mic input on it and this thing's pretty good it's not great but it's it's not bad it records directly to mp3 which is okay and then uh, this mic is a $20 Asden 
mic that you can get on Amazon. So I just kind of keep it all in here. And then there's also headphones if you need and have a very cheap set of headphones that came free with something at some point. I don't know what. Um, I have a little windscreen and another backup um, clip. You just kind of attach this to the wire here. And then just in case I have a um, quarter inch to mini adapter. And then some extra AAA batteries. This thing takes AAA, so these are rechargeable AAAs. So this is just the backup to the backup to the backup audio system. And it's just something that I always have in my kit um, so that if I wanted to, I could just grab my camera and go and shoot something and then know that like, if I needed to get some halfway decent audio, I could use something like this and um, it's there, it's with me. This is a little bag of goodies. I'm just gonna pour it out over here. This is just some random bag that I had. These are the things that I have in my random bag of goodies. Um, this is a one inch C-clamp. So for weddings, what I'll do with this one inch C-clamp is if I wanna shoot a shot of the dress and there's like nowhere to hang it, I'll clip this to something, so maybe the, um, the curtain rod in a hotel room, and I'll, I'll secure this to there, and then I'll hang the, the hanger on, of the dress onto here. So it's just a lot more stable than hanging it directly onto the curtain rod itself, in, in a lot of cases. So there's that guy. This thing is like an oil, wiper thing for the Canova sliders. So I just kind of have that with me. Um, these are kind of just various quarter 20, uh, hot shoe, cold shoe adapter things. And like, so you can kind of clamp into stuff. Uh, oh, here's another oil sill. And then um, this is just one of those cheapo, like ball head things. So. I could like attach this to here. There happens to be um, it's a three eighths to quarter twenty adapter, um, so I could remove that if I need to. Put this in here or what have you, and attach stuff. Whether I've in some circumstances I've attached like cameras to this thing, um, or you could put like a light on this. Anything that has the quarter twenty, you can just kind of use your imagination. Just. It's gotten me out of binds sometimes. Um, this Allen wrench or hex key is for uh, the Canova slider to tighten uh, some of the bearings. So I just kind of keep one of those with me. Uh, this is an SD card case. And inside this SD card case is museum wax. So you can just take like a ball, like a little ball of this wax, and then um, for like wedding rings or something, you can like put it on the ring and uh, like, let's say just put it like on the table or something. And just like if you took like a very tiny amount, it'll hold it in place. So this is kind of nice to have just for holding like rings and stuff in place. And then these, uh, this is like extra screws and bolts for our tripod system. I use sort of like a cheapo tripod system. And they've used rivets in some places where I think a screw and bolt was, would have been a better choice. So I just kind of have replacement ones as the rivets wear out so that on the fly I can just change them out to, the, um, to these screw and bolts. So this is just kind of my little emergency kit um, of random goodies <laughs> and things that come in handy. Uh, I have an extra quick release plate. Uh, sometimes if we have a new shooter come with us or someone that's second shooting or something, uh, they don't have the same tripod system that we do. Um, and 
I'll loan them a quick release plate so that it's easier for us to just kind of utilize whatever tripod is around because we've just committed to one system and it's just much faster and much more efficient for us. Uh, I carry some Tylenol with me. Um, sometimes just when you're shooting a long day, uh, you get a headache or some sort of backache or anything. Um, Fortunately, I've been actually taking care of my health lately, so I haven't really had to use this. Um, but it's come in handy, and sometimes people ask, uh, do you have any kind of town or anything? So I just have those. And then I uh, have back cap and body cap for the Mark III, since this is the Mark III bag. And then just for whatever reason, an extra back cap. And I think that's it for that. So I'm just going to put these guys back in here. And then in terms of lenses, uh, what I've been taking to weddings these days, um, 24-105, this is just a very, it's a good lens. It's not the greatest lens, it's not the sharpest lens, it's not the fastest lens, but it's a very good all-around lens. And in certain situations, it's great. Because sometimes when it's, when it's a very run and gun situation, and let's say you're moving from you know, space to space and you don't know what's going to be happening, this is kind of like a nice go-to lens because you can shoot wide at 24, you can get in kind of close at 105. And so I'm a fan. It's not my favorite lens, but it's definitely a lens worth owning and using in my opinion. So I'll bring that just for that particular reason. Um, this is the 70 to 300. Uh, what, uh, I, I'm sorry, f stop. This is a f4 to 5.6, and it's image stabilized. Again, not the greatest lens in the world, but for the price, this thing's like under 500 bucks, and it's image stabilized. Uh, the image quality from this is halfway decent. Again, it's not, it's not the 70-200 f2.8 uh, IS-2, uh, but um, it is a good, decent lens. So I'll bring this. Um, and I typically only use this during the ceremony just to get a closer shot if we're far away, just down the aisle, and kind of get the... Um, the bride, the officiant, and the groom in sort of like a three shot flat on. That's what we'll use for that. And then this is probably my favorite lens that Canon makes. Uh, this is the Canon 100 millimeter macro IS, and this is an f2.8. Um, this lens is amazing. It's macro, it's image stabilized, the image quality on this is amazing even all the way open at 2.8. Um, so I'll do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, I shoot portraits with this. I'll shoot the rings and details with this. Uh, even in some, some circumstances, if it allows, I'll shoot long uh, wide shots with this. Um, just the image quality from this thing is amazing. Um, and then we also, you know, I'll bring the 17 to 40 sometimes, um, which is currently being used right now. But these would probably be, right now, what I'm using as my go-to for the Mark III. And I'm sort of leaning heavily, I think, on the 100. And now I'm starting to use the 24-105 a little bit more. So there, those are these guys. And then I'll stick the Mark III with the lens on it right in there, and then it'll just close right up. So that's that. Oh, and then extra battery pack on here. So at least six batteries plus a 9-volt rechargeable for the Rode video mic. Uh, in here, I normally have some business cards. Um, but I think I'm out. I'm actually running out of business cards. Oh, actually, here's another hex key that was for the for the Canova. The Canova has two sized 
hex keys or Allen wrenches that it requires. That's the Mark III. So this is the A6000 B camera. Um, I'm a huge fan actually of Sony. We're going to move all the way to Sony. I'm just sort of waiting for the either the A7000 or the A7S Mark II to come out or be announced before really committing fully to Sony. But um, this bag, same bag as this one, just happens to be older for the B camera. Um, and more beat up as you can see um, but in here just have like an old lens pen still works well um, I bought these flash diffusers for the a6000 these are these are pretty cool if you don't know on the a6000 the built-in pop-up flash you can actually bend it up and at angles so you, you know you don't have to get that flat on look and, oh, there happens to be a Sharpie in here. Be careful not to use that on your lens as a lens pen, but it's kind of nice to have a Sharpie. We'll use Sharpies like if we get water bottles or something, and you can put your name on your water bottle. Um, so just in terms of lenses, what, we bringing, what we have been bringing for the A6000, uh, this is the Sony 1.8 50 millimeter lens. This is a good lens. It's not, again, it's not the greatest lens. It's not the sharpest or completely free of chromatic aberration, but it's a good, nice lens. It's like an 85 millimeter equivalent on the full frame. So portraits, we'll do like reaction shots with this at the, um, at the reception. Um, with the A6000, what we found, I think 16, ISO 1600 is probably your most, is the fastest you can go without it getting too noisy for our taste. So you need faster lenses. Um, this lens is actually awesome. This is the Sony 10 to 18, and it's an F4 all the way through. And this thing's super wide, 10 to 18 on your A6000. Um, it's a very wide lens. It's like essentially 16, I'm sorry, 15, 15 to whatever 1.5 times 18 is, uh, 20 something. I don't know, you guys can do the math. But uh, a friend of ours has the A7S and I you know, was playing with this lens on his camera and you can set it so that the uh, A7S will just, it won't like automatically crop in. And I want to say at 12 millimeters, there's no more vignetting. And so it's like crazy wide on the A7S, um, which is a full frame camera. So 10 to 18, this thing's very nice. I highly recommend getting this lens. And then um, the 55 to 210, this is just sort of their kit, longer lens. Um, for ceremonies, we'll use this. This is a little bit slower lens, but uh, when you need that extra reach, this thing's pretty nice. And then right now on the A6000, which I think is the go-to lens for the A6000, is the 18 to 105 F4. That's an awesome video lens. It's image stabilized. And the range, 18 to 105, is a great range. Um, just very all around, like you can get some wide stuff and you can get some long stuff, especially on the A6000 since it's, uh, it's a 105. Uh, it's a cropped sensor at like 1.5 magnification. Unfortunately, that guy, the 18 to 105 on the A7S, uh, can't, is, is vignetted all the way through um, on the a7s so if you were wondering so those are the cameras those are the bags and yeah